the Jews. The summer of 1914. An uncanny similarity between that act of terrorism and September the 11th. We say that the same people who planned and executed the attack of the summer of 1914 are the same people who planned and executed the attack of September the 11th. The purpose for the September the 11th attack is to allow events to unfold in such a way that Israel that eventually waged a big war. And when Israel waged his big war, the territory of the state of Israel will expand dramatically. How big? From the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates. From the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates. Does it sound familiar? Does it sound familiar? From the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates. That's false. Is there in the Bible? Yes, but it's false. The Holy Land does not extend from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates. And the Quran confirms that. The Holy Land is what is today called Palestine. When Israel wages that big war, Israel will then seize the Suez Canal. Israel will seize the oil of the Gulf. And Britain and the United States will stand firmly behind, behind Israel, Blair and Bush. At that time, the US dollar collapses. At that time, the US economy collapses. At that time, Israel stakes her claim to be the ruling state in the world. Not appear to be an aggressor. Mm -hmm. and not appear to be an aggressor. Israel must be able to present to mankind an image of a state which is under siege, a state which is facing a tremendous threat to its existence. Mm -hmm. And so September 11th was used to attack Afghanistan with a brutality, with a brutality which is inexplicable. A 2,000 pound bomb being dropped upon a people who are defenseless, living in almost primitive conditions, and who would wage war against the Soviet Union for 12 long years, who are some of the poorest people on the face of the earth, and you are the richest, the most wealthy, the most powerful country in the world, and you drop in 2,000 pound bombs upon these defenseless people, indiscriminately killing women, killing children, doesn't matter. Why? This indiscriminate, reckless, wanton use of force in such a wicked way. There's a purpose. The purpose is to try to wake up the Muslim world. Wake them up so that they'll come out and attempt to use force. And then the attack on Iraq. And after attacking Iraq and getting rid of that blue-eyed boy of the Yankees, they created him, they fed him, they groomed him, they supported him all through a man named Saddam Hussein. Then they turn against their own blue-eyed boy, use him as the reason and justification to invade Iraq. But if we, the Muslims, had ever attempted to remove Saddam Hussein, they would have destroyed us. Now, and now they go in the prisons of Iraq. Is all of this sexual humiliation being inflicted on the Ummah of Muhammad by accident? Are these random events taking place by a few roads? Not at all! This is deliberate policy. We thought that the Muslims would have woken up when we attacked Afghanistan, but they did not. We thought that they would have woken up when we attacked Iraq. And they would have overthrown some of the pro-American regimes, like the Jordanian regime, but they did not. The Muslims are really snoring. So we've got to do something more to really get them vexed.
That's why the sexual humiliation of the prisons of Iraq. That's why they were parading naked prostitutes before our people in Guantanamo. This booklet in your hand has an appendix at the back which comes from one of the inmates who was released from Guantanamo. And because he was a British national, he was a black Jamaican incidentally. A black Jamaican who converted to Islam. He was able to tell the story about Guantanamo. Read that story at the back of this. I don't think the Express will publish it. And you'll see, this is not a random accidental policy. This is by design. Its purpose is to try to get the Muslim world to wake up, overthrow some of the pro-American regimes, get some Muslims so mad that they will now become terrorists. Can we manufacture some terrorists among these Muslims? Get them so mad, lead them to acts of terrorism? It is when these things occur, when the world can see that yes, there is some danger, some threat from the world of Islam now, that Israel will have what it, Israel will present as cause as well. Some justification for a big war which has already been planned long, long ago. So that is what the white rural order is now doing. Helping Israel so that Israel can wage a big war. When Israel wages that big war and becomes the ruling state in the world, then the world order of Gog and Magog will now become a means through which Israel can effectively control the world. But Israel will rule the world for a day which is like a week, a day like a week, which some mathematician will do the calculation, maybe it amounts about 30 years or so, 40 years or so. At the end of that time, the masjid would have been destroyed, Masjid al -Aqsa. the temple would have been rebuilt, and then the Antichrist would have been emerge as the rule of Israel and the rule of the world and declare I am the Messiah. Mm -hmm. And when it is accepted, he rub his hands and say, mission accomplished. It is at that time that Allah raises a man from the seed of Nabi Muhammad and he is known as the Imam al-Mahdi. And with him, Darul Islam is restored, and we have a subject. We have that subject in this series of lectures: Imam Al Mahdi and the return of the Caliphate. That is one of our topics. When Darul Islam is restored in the Arabian Peninsula, that is goodbye, goodbye to the American Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Back into the garbage bin from where it came out in the first place. But when Darul Islam is restored in the Arabian Peninsula, Imam al Mahdi, that is the most significant, real, and tangible threat to the state of Israel. And so the Antichrist attacks. The Prophet said that the attack would come from the east. He pointed 20 times to the east. East of Medina is not Japan, <laughs> something closer. He said that the Antichrist will ride on a donkey. Remember the last lecture? The donkey will travel as fast as the clouds. The donkey will have his ears stretched out wide. And so therefore, when the Antichrist attacks, it's going to be fighter aircraft. East of Medina is the Saudi, used to be Saudi, now is the American Air Force Base in Dahran. So it's an aerial attack. 
The angels guard Mecca and Medina, and the prophet said that the attack will be diverted to Damascus. And that is where the confrontation takes place between the Antichrist and the Imam. The Antichrist and the Imam. It is at that time that the son of Mary will come down with his hands resting on the wings of two angels at that time. When the son of Mary comes down, when the son of Mary, the true Messiah, kills the false Messiah, 